Hey guys, it's Yanni here. And Fabio. And today's video, we're gonna be telling you where to go for gay nightlife here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. We want to update you in our experience here in this beautiful country and some funny stories too. If you guys are new to this channel, we are traveling the world full time this year, 2020. And our first country actually is Thailand. Well, technically it was Hong Kong, but it was just a 17 hour layover. So now we're here in Thailand. And the first city that we're visiting in Thailand is Chiang Mai, which we are here currently. And obviously being two gay guys, we wanted to check out the gay nightlife here in Chiang Mai. So if you guys are looking to come to Chiang Mai, this I hope this video will be very informative on where to go, which club you should go, or if you want to go to all of them, then go ahead. So let's dive in. The first club where we went here in Chiang Mai was the Ram Bar, which is a beautifully decorated club. It's quite small and I must say it's very, very expensive so when you walk the streets actually there's a lot there's a lot of bars left and right within the street you won't miss it because the bar is actually open concept so there's a lot of um air coming in so even though it's back even though it's summer always here in thailand you won't be hot inside because it's open and it's beautiful because the drag shows here are nothing like the drag shows in the u.s or in canada that is so true they're very uh, unique So if you're looking into going into a gay club where there's a lot of drag shows, there's a lot of performances, definitely go to this club. So this club doesn't have a cover to go in. It's free to go in. However, I feel like it's rude to go in and not order drinks. So the waiters Absolutely. will definitely come at you right away and they will ask like, what would you like to drink? And if, yes. you, if you actually see the menu, they're pretty pricey. Yes, we are traveling on a budget, obviously, as you know, guys, because we are traveling for a full year. Yes. So we're not here to live the lavish life. We're on a budget. So when we walked in, we said, okay, let's just go for a nice cocktail because we, we thought it. it was quite yeah. cheap and yeah. we deserve it. Only after that, we saw the price, which was it's about expensive. $20 Dollars each. each. So right away we changed our order and we got a beer a instead, beer right away because which still yes. was about ten dollars ten dollars for one beer and it's like the small beer so if here you have option to get the large bottle of beer or the small bottle and the small bottle is, is could be converted to ten dollars we thought we were going to be fine for the cocktails but when we started converting it's actually twenty dollars for a cocktail yes. so something to keep in mind if you want to visit this bar however if you think about it you get a lot of good performances from these drag queens yes um mostly transgender drag queens as well so very beautiful beautiful women oh my god let me tell you these drag queens be are beautiful somebody somebody impersonated rihanna and she sang like oh na na what's my name she looked exactly, exactly like, rihanna. like rihanna and they come in the audience they play around it's it's really fun and they have yes. backup dancers they put a lot of thoughts in their performances there's backup dancers and the backup dancers are backup dancers of the other drag queens as well so yes. and each number they change outfits they change outfits so if you think about it paying twenty dollars for a good show and for one drink i think it's okay so you might want to limit yourself to one drink cocktail only if you exactly are to, but i mean if you're on vacation and you're just enjoying go life enjoy then it. go for it go full out but because we're traveling for a year it's not that we want to be stingy, but yeah, we really are on a budget. This club was beautifully decorated. There's a lot of colors popping up. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of changing of lights and the show is good. It's very long. Mm -hmm. There's a 20 minutes break in between the yeah, first so and second act. I feel like there are they're, they're sets. So like there are different types of drag queens coming out for the first set. And then there's a 20 minute break in between and then another set of drag queens coming exactly. out. Exactly. So this was a very packed club. Mm -hmm. As soon as we walked in, uh, it was fairly empty and then it filled very very quickly so tip is if you want to go in and have a seat at the inside the bar or inside the club go in early because they get packed easily mm -hmm. so the second club we went to was the orion club so the second club we went to was definitely a bit of an older crowd and it was more like a pool bar there was mm -hmm. a pool table 
and a few different tables where you could sit. It's, it's more of a chill bar. Like there's no drag performances. There's I think there's music, but it's not a music where you get to dance. It's just a loungy type of gay bar. There's a big pool in the middle of the bar where people pool could, table pool table. And where people could switch up and play with pools and... And there's some board games, so you can go yes. pick up your board games and all that. I must say the drinks here were a tiny bit cheaper, but we had, terrible. We had a bad experiences with drinks. I got a good drink. However, Fabio ordered a pina colada and it wasn't... No, a pineapple martini. Yes, he ordered a pineapple martini and it wasn't that great. It was terrible. There's I think the juice was um, expired or something like that. It, was, it tasted like a cough syrup medicine, but um, just something to keep in mind. However, beer, you can never go wrong with beer. Beer is beer. It's, That's um, true. If you want a beer, go ahead. However, in this club, my the only downside that I remember from this club is people smoke inside um, everywhere in the club, actually. So if you are very sensitive with smoke, smell, um, just something to keep in mind. Yeah, even though it's an open space, quite an open space, mm -hmm. but it's something to keep in mind. You won't miss you won't miss this bar as well because it's open space and the waiters will actually call you and everything. So it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Comparing the two, if you want to go into a younger and hip crowd, hip crowd, we're, yes, yeah, we're, choose the Ram Bar. Yeah, and if you are more into a more chill and older crowd than go into the Orient Club. Well, it's not just specifically old people. Um, there, there are still a lot of younger generation. Yeah, it's still, it's still mixed. We, we don't discriminate it's here. It's quite mixed. Yeah, yeah, it's quite mixed. However, there are the clubs you can distinguish where you want to go to. Both clubs or bars are different in their own way. Now, the third one that we hit was the Pandir Bar, mm -hmm. which... It was quiet. It was empty. It was empty because the this... This bar was a bit awkwardly placed in the street or in the market. You, you kind of have to go in into the market a little bit. Around the Pandir bar, there are straight bars. So I don't think people were comfortable to go yeah, in there. Yeah, so maybe it was a little bit... Between the fact that it was hidden and the fact that right. it was also a bit late when we went, yeah. uh, the bar was actually empty. There was absolutely no one in it. No one. But... I have to say, I like the decor of that bar. It, it was, was a little cute. bit classier and it was very cute, all red, and it looked like the drinks could have been yeah. also better. Between the, three, uh, between the three bars that we've mentioned so far, Pandir Bar is the smallest, like literally it's just a bar. It's just a yes, bar. With a few chairs. An around. open concept with a few chairs around it, but nobody was there. Um, so we didn't really stop for the so drink. So we didn't stop we for a drink. drink. Yeah, we didn't We didn't know about the, how good the drinks are, you know. It was an open concept, it was good. Right beside it, there's a street bar where there's karaoke and another pool table. So that's probably why the gay people are uncomfortable yeah. <laughs> going into the bar. I don't I know. I guess, I'm not too sure. Yeah. The fourth bar where we went to was the New My Way, which is further <laughs> north of the city, so the this old is, city. Yeah, so this is the different neighborhood now. So the first three bars that we mentioned, they're all right next to, next to each other. They're on the same street. So if you just walk the street, you'll you'll find them. However, the fourth bar, the Fabio is saying, it's a little bit out, out of the way. It's out so of you, the way. So you really need to go and go for that one. And this is the most interesting bar we've been we've been to. I think in our at least in, in my entire life. Same for me. It's. <laughs> Uh, this was definitely a, an experience. I did some it research beforehand and this was promoted as a cabaret bar with drag shows. Yeah, so, so what we were expecting was a lot of kind of musical theater or old school drag queen. Yeah, so queen. we were ready to be entertained, like old school drag queen, cabaret, exactly. singing while dancing. But when we walked in, Fabio was oh. hilarious because when we walked in, we saw a lot of black couches, leather couches, aligned like a movie theater. So Fabio yes. was like, oh my god, we're in a the movie theater. I was like, Fabio, it's not a movie theater. <laughs> That's where the audiences sit. And then when we turned, we actually saw the stage. And it was a very nice stage. It, it was, was a white stage, not too big, but big enough for there a, was a good runway. Drag show. Yeah, there was a runway. So I was like, oh, we were so, when we saw the stage, we were like, we were ready. Exactly. We were ready for a good show. And we got there fairly early. It was around um, 10 o'clock yes. or a little bit before 10 o'clock. And the show started at 10.30. 10 so something to keep in mind. However, we should just tell them about the show now because they're probably expecting a cabaret show. Exactly. So we told you that it's we Googled and it says a cabaret show but it's not a cabaret show. 
It's absolutely not a cabaret show. It's, I think it's a strip bar. It's leaning towards a strip bar. It's okay, so our experience, so there's no photo, so all we can do now is explain it to you, or maybe we it can reenact it. It was forbidden to take pictures. Yeah, That's so, why we don't have any photos. So the show was a bunch of, I, would, I don't want to say men, because they are boys. A bunch of boys <laughs> that are doing fashion show, and they have number tags on them. Exactly. So, so I feel like... So basically, to keep it short, you can pick whoever you want. Yes. So they have a um, necklace with a number. tag, with a number on, and you just pick who you want, and they will go with you. Yes, they will go with you, but it was... To, to, to us, it was so hilarious because these boys are boys. Like, they look like 15 years old. And then eventually, they start stripping. Like, they do a runway show first. In the beginning, yeah. they do a runway show fully clothed, like, button-up shirt, like, very formal, very classy. Very classy. And then, there's a break in between. And in the next show, they come out again. They start... They come out, like, topless this time. Yeah. Um, and then... And that's where we stopped. Yeah, like after the after the second show, I think there was an intermission number. There was a break where there three of them came out on stage and they were only wearing underwear. Uh, underwear. And they were trying to do like a go go a boy sex dancing, very sexy. I'm sorry, uh, we're trying to be so nice here, but we're trying to give you the information as well, what we experienced and what we saw. We're trying to be really, really honest. We're, we're not. Really honest. We're not bashing the place. We're not bashing the place. But. Yet. Hey, some people are into those boys, so don't get me wrong. If you're into those boys, go to that bar. Like, we're not discriminating. We did order a drink. We got a gin tonic. It was... Which was expensive. And it was bad because we didn't taste no alcohol it in was the gin tonic. tonic. The more you stay in this place... Uh, well, I have to say the owners of the place come to you and they ask you, do you like any of them? Any of the boys, So yes. And they came to us twice. And we had no intention to get any of the we boys. Had a, we wanted to see a... Beautiful cabaret show with a lot of sequins and a lot of drag queens. We were ready. But definitely, we did not get that. I have a feeling, a strong feeling that those guys were straight as well. And they just do those things for a living. Which is great, yeah. whatever. But um, yeah, if you're into those stuff, go for it. You know, another quick review that we have to say here is that when they got on stage in the very first numbers, it was very awkward because Obviously, you could you could tell that they didn't want to be there. They were yes! so bored. Oh my god! Can they I... were they were on their phone. Can I just say one thing? So when they walked out, right? So they did a fashion show, right? The initial number when they had tags here, they were still fully clothed. They did an initial fashion show, and they were like, when the first one came out, I'm like, oh, okay, so he must be the MC of the drag show, the cabaret show. But he wasn't the MC. He 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 did a runway walk, and then he posed on the side, and another boy came out, and then another boy came out. I'm like, okay, so now the fourth boy came out. I'm like, oh, okay. So it's a fashion show. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's watch this. And then, twenty first, the twenty first guy came out. Like there are twenty one guys on stage at this point, and the stage as big as it is, when there are twenty guys on stage, they look like they're all cramped on stage. And there's a lot of them at some point. There's a lot. There, are like, a lot there were a lot of guys actually. If you think about it now, like 20, 21 guys on stage. And guess how many we were in the audience? Five five the most and probably one of them was the owner that was someone that was tiny tying the shoes yeah. so when they were all lined up on stage now like fabi was saying one that was yarning one that was playing and he was literally thing. the guy was literally on his phone like this sideways so i know for sure he was, he was playing, playing games he was because he wasn't like this he was like this like this he couldn't let it go and i know what game he was playing because he was playing it before getting on stage he yeah. was playing mobile legends because i know because <laughs> i play it too i play it too and Shame. i know when you start mobile legend when you start a game in mobile legend you cannot let it go you cannot leave the game because your team it's like live right it's live you're playing live so he was playing on stage. So he said, the game is more important than my job. <laughs> so, yeah. So one was playing a game. One was yawning. One was, one was tying his two lace. Uh, <laughs> it, it was like... Uh, it, it was so awkward. It was just so awkward. I felt awkward being in... Uh, yeah. Because... Nothing wrong. If you want to do that, if you are, if you signed up for the job, at least do the job. I don't know. Like we don't discriminate. Like we are all for all type of sex work. Like it's positivity, sex positivity here, whatever. But at least put an effort or 
I don't know. Maybe we should just stop Maybe talking. Maybe we should just cut this part. <laughs> well, it was definitely a hilarious experience. Yeah. There is another bar that we were supposed to go to, but, but we, we didn't. didn't. It's the Adam's Apple Club. But for what I read on the reviews, it's very similar to this one. So we said we kind of had enough. We kind of want to go to two clubs on the same night. However, when Fabio read the review, the show starts at... Uh, it was at around the same time. Around so it started time. at 10 and it ends at 11.30. Yeah, so, so we wouldn't have made that one. Yeah, and we, we got to the first, the My Way. My New My Way. New My Way Club around 9 a.m. So we actually had to wait one hour and 30 minutes to see the show, what kind of show they were doing. So we ordered one drink because it's rude to go and not order one drink because there's no cover, right? And we were the we were the only ones there. Like when we got there, the music wasn't starting yet, and they were just guys on stage playing. that were playing mm -hmm. on the couches, and they were like inviting us inside. So we were the first one. So we were drinking our gin and tonics so slowly because we didn't want to order another drink. Yeah. So those those are pretty much the clubs that we went to. I don't think fun, is there any fun, more? fun experience. No, those are the clubs in Chiang Mai. But there may be one or two more. Wasn't there another club in the same neighborhood? If you want to come to Chiang Mai, I think the best gay club that we've been to here so far for me is the um, the Ram Club. The Ram Club, where Ram there's a, the Ram Bar, where there's a lot of um, drag shows. As expensive as the drinks are. You actually get entertained. I was entertained. Yeah, you get very entertained. Actually, I was so, entertained. So oh it's God. a lot of fun. So the drag but, queens were talented. Exactly, but we wanted to experience the full gay, gay scene, scene here in yeah. Chiang Mai, as we will do for all the next cities. Yes. We'll be so going to. watch out for this type of videos. Definitely watch out because we are going to different cities here in Southeast Asia, in Asia, in the world general, and we are gonna be keep on. Keep, we're gonna keep on doing these videos to inform you guys what kind of gay clubs you're gonna expect in each city. So, Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next city. Bye now. Stay gay. Bye. <laughs>